Hello Polkadot fans, this is Arthur from Prama Team. Today we are here to understand one of the coolest projects of the Polkadot ecosystem, Plasm Network and its Kusama version, Shadow Network. As you all know, the Polkadot and Kusama are relay chains by design and do not support smart contracts. It gives Plasm the opportunity to fill in this gap. Scalability is obviously one of the most crucial demands dApp developers have. Ideally, developers can build any applications on Plasm Network without having to think about scalability limitations. Plasm and Shaden are very similar networks that will be implemented in the Polkadot and Kusama. When we say Plasm, it also can be applied to Shaden and Contrary. Today we also discuss a very important point – Kusama Parachain Crowd Loan and Shaden Network Crowd Loan Strategy. Here is a brief description of Plasm Network. If you know what Plasm Network is, go straight to the Crowd Loan part and the interview with Sota Watanabe, the founder and CEO of Plasm Network. Ok, what is Plasm Network? Plasm Network is a scalable smart contract platform on Polkadot supporting cutting-edge layer 2 solutions such as Plasma and Rollups. Plasm Network supports Ethereum Solidity. You have two choices to make your dApps. Plasm Network supports both WASM and EVM, so developers can deploy Solidity contracts on Plasm Network with existing Ethereum tools such as MetaMask and Remix. In addition to that, you can also deploy Solidity contracts on WASM with Solang, a Solidity to WASM compiler written in Rust. Also, Paritas Inc. is supported. Plasm Network supports Inc. to make a solid and high-performance dApp. Inc. is an original smart contract language on substrate made by Parity Technologies. When we say layer 2, we don't mean only speed TPS. It also means cheaper transaction costs and faster finality. Users will choose Plasm simply because it's the only power chain that supports layer 2 that is faster and cheaper just from day 1. Recently, Plasm Network announced the vision of an Ethereum-compatible network and supported the Ethereum virtual machine. Scalability is the most fundamental issue Plasm Network is going to solve. Here is the scheme of Polkadot, Relay Chain and Parachain. One of them will be Plasm Network. Plasm is focused now on developing and maintaining quality blockchain infrastructure for application developers. It helps all developers that need to build smart contracts to focus on their projects rather than spending most of their time figuring out how to reduce a few gas costs. Plasm believes in the network effect that a Polkadot Parachain will bring to Plasm Network. Here is the roadmap. Plasm Network already has a huge ecosystem. Here is the part of it. Let's return to Plasm Network features and launch milestones. Today we're greeting our guest Sota Watanabe, an ex-blockchain researcher at the University of Tokyo, task force member of Trusted Web Council led by the Japanese government, founder and CEO of Plasm Network and Shiden Network the project that is going to be one of the first parachain of Kusama and the first smart contract platform of the Polkadot ecosystem. Today we are going to go through the main features of Plasm Network, parachains auction and crowd loan preparation process. Thank you so much for being here today, Sota. Hey everyone, thank you for having me. I'm doing great. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. We have several questions for you right now if you are ready. Sora, why did you decide to start Plasm Network? What is the background, the reasons and the goals of the project? Can you tell us more about your acquaintance with Polkadot? Got it. So uh, when I joined the Polkadot space back in you know, 2017 or 2018, which it was a small ecosystem, but I believe the vision of the Web3, since Web3 is the, one of the most important component for human being in, uh, in this decade and next decade. And the, when I, you know, I'm 26 years old right now. And when I was a high school student, the, the mobile was the very promising technology. And when I was a kid, the internet was a very promising technology. And now blockchain is the first opportunity for us and for me to join from day one. So this is really exciting opportunity. And the, when I joined the Polkadot ecosystem, actually the few are uh, making the parachain. And the Polkadot relay chain does not support smart contract functionality by design. So we decided to make smart contract platform. And when it comes to smart contract, 
um, you know, interoperability and scalability are two biggest issues we are going to have and we have today. So that's why we started implementing and researching the layer two solution. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? What are your interests behind coding? Maybe some hobbies? Um, I'm Sota and the, I have, I'm doing a lot, <laughs> especially like a Plasma Network and the, I'm founder of Stake Technologies. Stake Technology is the company behind the Plasma Network. But uh, our goal of Plasma Network is making decentralized autonomous organization as known as DAO, DAO. So to do so, uh, stake technologies can be a single point of failure in the future. So we would like to close stake technologies, but we would like to, you know, make plasma network bigger and the more decentralized. And the, I used it to work at a blockchain startup in San Francisco back in 2017. And after coming back to Japan, I became a blockchain researcher at the University of Tokyo and I met CTO at the University of Tokyo and the currently I'm doing, um, I'm working as a task force member of Trusted Web Council led by Japanese government. So Trusted Web is sort of the new idea to remake the existing internet because, you know, uh, a lot of the very few companies are dominating the internet and the web. So we have to fix it. Okay, what is the relationship between your company, State Technologies, Plasm Network and partners? Who is financing the work on the Plasm Network for years? Currently, our ecosystem is getting bigger and bigger and the, we have a, a lot of partners. And the, yeah, just today we announced a new collaboration with Microsoft and the, we joined the Microsoft for Startup program. And the, yeah, Plasma Network is a 100% open source project. So it is, you know, fully transparent project. And the uh, Plasma Network is mainly developed by Stake Technologies right now, which is, you know, it, it is similar to Web3 Foundation and Parity Technologies and Plasma mm -hmm. Network and Shade Network and Stake Technologies. Uh, Stake Technology is the core company right now, but we would like to make it, you know, our ecosystem more decentralized and the soon we are going to launch acceleration program as well as grant program so we are going to invite a lot of partners a lot of collaborators to make plasma network more decentralized yeah it will be announced in june interesting can you tell us about your team and your relationships with web free foundation and parity we are we are one hundred percent fully decentralized team. I'm in Singapore right now, but I'm just one person who are in the Singapore. And the we have uh, three members in Japan and three members in Korea, two members in China, and the two members are uh, in Europe and one members in US. So actually, I have never met the fifty percent of our teammate <laughs> face to face. So, mm -hmm. but we are, we are, we are working together online and we have a great relationship, like a family. Um, yeah, uh, regarding the relationship between Web3 Foundation and Parity Technologies, um, I joined the, the Polkadot space three or four years ago. So, you know, we have been working together, but, um, Web3 Foundation and Parity Technologies are not partners. But we are collaborating, right? We are collaborating to make Polkadot better. And the, we, we are backed by some of the problem, program, program, uh, hosted by Parity Technologies and the Web3 Foundation, such as Web3 Bootcamp in China and the Substrate Builders program and Substrate Delivery Partners. You are a task force member of the Web3 Council led by the Japanese government. What questions do you discuss in this council? Trusted Web Council. But Trusted Web is similar to Web3, but you know, the Japanese government does not want to say Web3 because there are a lot of people who are making Web1, Web2, right? <laughs> so we call it Trusted Web. So basically we don't have a, you know, the governance layer on the top of existing web. So by design, the centralized company, centralized big company has a lot of data and they can use a lot of data to make money without permission. And the user cannot verify how they use my data and your data. So this is not good in terms of the competition and in terms of the you know, fairness. 
the human light. So we, 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 we would like to make the governance layer on the top of existing web. So Web3 is the very broad concept. And the, I think Web3 movement align with trusted web movement. And as a, as a first step, we, have, we are going to uh, uh, publish the uh, white paper, both in Japanese and English. So would it be great if we could, you know, talk with a lot of external project and external the companies, but you know, uh, I'm, I'm I'm just one of the task force members. So government lead the conversation. So are you satisfied with two log jobs? Why do you choose the form that does not bring you even one penny for your huge work? In this decision connected with regulators and their pressure. That's a good question. <laughs> Uh, so we are proud of that we collected uh, 150k is more than 150k is mm. through Lockdrop, which is about more than 400 million US dollar at the valuation today. And the the reason why we chose Lockdrop is we have a, a lot of complaints regarding mm. the existing finance in a crypto space. You know, a, a lot of projects sell the the token with huge discount for selected venture capital. So a lot of projects have, you know, venture round, venture capital round, venture capital round, mm -hmm. strategical venture round, round, venture capital round, then they're going to make token public, right? So the general people cannot buy the token at the very first stage. And the, you know, venture capital does not have a, a does not take risk. Because the the once they list the token, the price should be higher, much much higher than the you know the existing uh, inclusive venture capital round. Yeah. So this is not blockchain from my perspective. This is just a traditional finance. Mm -hmm. So we are working on the blockchain, and the philosophy matters. So I like blockchain because of the transparency, decentralization, and the verifiability. So we did rock drop because we wanted to distribute our token to user first, but user include developer, validator, and the, you know, venture capital. The important thing is our lock drop was operated under the same rule. So anyone can join under the same rule, right? And the, after that, we raised the fund from the, led by Binance, uh, Hashiki, Fembushi, and so on. Yeah, so we are very proud of our decision. All right, Plasm and Shiren, why you decided to make two networks? What will be with Shiren when Plasm starts? There will be competitors. Akala, Moonbeam, and many others make two separate networks. Is this really necessary? I have a, a lot of opinion about this one. But, uh, you know, so let's say to make the long story short, no one knows. So mm -hmm. we have to prove whether it's correct or not in the future, in, in the next two years or something like that. But the problem for us is we have to deploy the, another mainnet because if we launch our mainnet, the Plasma network, and we connect our Plasma network to Xama for X months, so we have to connect our Plasma network to you know Xama for X months. So we may miss one of the first opportunity to become a Polkadot parachain because we are connecting our Plasm to Xama. So this is the first reason. And the, yeah, second reason is we need a lot of experiments regarding the vesting, regarding the technical implementation, regarding the bridges and so on. And the, this implementation is not tough, not, not easy. And the, because no one has done before, right? So mm -hmm. we would like to test it on the top of Shiden network first, and then we are going to launch the main product on Plasm network. But uh, yeah, uh, no one knows when Polkadot support Parachain. So why not launching the two network and the connecting one of them to Xama? And then let's see. Most Shiden crowd loan competitors already have a market valuation. Plasma and Shiden not yet. Are there some plans for listing before crowd loan? Because it's very hard to count the outcome for the participants of crowd loans. And it can be a problem if we want to be the first parachain of Kusama. 
uh, the reason why we did not launch the mainnet is basically we have uh, two reasons. Actually, mm -hmm. technically, uh, for us, it's better not to launch our mainnet before the auction. The first reason is, so uh, I have written the contents on our forum, but uh, mm -hmm. to, to summarize, the, we have to register our Genesis block uh, before the auction. So this is a fixed state. And if we deploy the Plasma network before the, the parachain auction, this is running, right? So the state is going to be changed. Mm -hmm. So, but we have to, we have to register the Genesis block fixed state before the parachain auction. Once we register the fixed file, but blockchain is running. So this state is different from this state because this blockchain is running, right? Mm -hmm. So this state is different from this state. So this is going to be a huge problem. So to avoid this problem, uh, we have to fork the network or we have to stop entire the network and make the snapshot and we have to redeploy the network. This is tough for the community in the, you know, making two different network or, you know, um, artificial changes to the blockchain states is very controversial, like, you know, Ethereum and Ethereum crashing. Yeah. So we would like to avoid this situation. We read your post about the crowd loan plans, but what about the details? Can you share it right now with our audience? Uh, what can I get for my 1K salmon crowd loan? Uh, this is also a great question. So we are also waiting for the the very detailed parameters, very detailed information from the Web3 Foundation. So mm -hmm. given that all information are not published yet by Web3 Foundation, so we, we, we have a, a lot of rooms to discuss later. But generally speaking, we are going to distribute 15% 1-5% of our token to users at the first auction. And the, at the second auction, we are going to distribute, I think, 15%, another 50% for the second auction. And the uh, if you join your KSM, uh, with your KSM, you are going to lock your KSM token on our crowd law module. And by doing so, you can get X Shiden token, SDN token. But uh, you have a, a one month lock and nine months vesting. But during the lock and vesting, you can use your Shiden token for the staking. Mm -hmm. But you cannot transfer the fund. And the, what else? Yeah, uh, we are going to bid one slot to eight slot, which is around 11 months. Mm -hmm. And we are going to be, yeah, we are trying to become one of the first Xama parachain as well as Polkadot later this year. Can you give me some insight and name some projects or teams who will implement applications and smart contracts on Shiden from day one? Uh, we have a, a lot of projects actually they are building on the, our testnet right now. But after launching Shiden network, I think a lot of projects will join our ecosystem because of the DAPS staking. The huge difference between Plasma Network and the other parachain is DAPS staking. DAPS staking is the, the, the mechanism only Plasma supports because we invented it. And the, but, so you can get the basic income by making smart contract mm -hmm. on the top of Shiden Network from Block Rewards. Why they choose Shiden? It's going to be really easy because they can make money by making smart contract. Yeah. On the other hand, if you deploy something on the top of Ethereum, you have to pay the gas, and the gas cost is not 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 cheap, right? It it it's expensive, so you you're gonna lose money at the very. In case of Shiden, you have to pay the gas, but you can get block rewards based on your performance, and your reward should be much higher than the gas, so nothing to lose. So I think we can attract a lot of developer and project uh, from day one. And the also, um, I'm Japanese and the, you know, Japan has a lot of contents. So one mm. of the most fascinating, fascinating area for us is NFT because, you know, um, we have a Japan entity and Singapore entity right now, and there are a lot of, you know, 
conversation regarding the NFT project. And the, if we could invite a lot of Japanese company to Plasma Network, this is going to be really huge. Because, mm -hmm. you know, Japanese company, are, they have a lot of IP, intellectual property. Yeah. Promo team participated as an introducer in the two days log job. Are there going to be any introducers in the Shining Crowd loan? The previous time it was rather chaotic. Who can be introducers this time? Are there some limits or not? What are the terms for introducers? I think the, we, we, um, it is not decided yet because um, we need to know more about the auction. But uh, one thing we decided is, so the auction consists of Crowdron and the, sorry, uh, parachain lease offering consists of Crowdron and the auction. The Crowdron comes first and the auction comes second and we, encourage people to join Crowdron instead of the auction. Because if we collect KSM tokens through Crowdron, we can use this KSM for the first auction and second auction if we lose the first one. So, so if you join the Crowdron, you can get higher KSM, higher number of KSM, to uh, Shider Network token mm -hmm. than you than the, the, you know, the auction. Yeah. So this is the important part. And we encourage people to join from day one of the crowd round rather than day seven or day eight. So the earlier you join the crowd round, the more token you can get. You are one of the early contributors to Polkadot ecosystem. Do you like the way Polkadot in the ecosystem goes? What do you like and dislike most? You know, when I joined the Polkadot space, I think I'm a, one of the first or first or second ambassador all over the world. So, you know, the, there are a lot of great team are joining the Polkadot ecosystem and they're making great things. And the, you know, um, when, when we started making Parachain, actually the, the substrate was not ready. Substrate was just announced and the, we had a lot of technical difficulties, but uh, I'm really happy to see a lot of progresses regarding the technical developments. And the, I'm really happy to be involved in the Web3 movement and Polkadot mm -hmm. movement as one of the you know, builders in the ecosystem. So, you know, um, yeah, uh, I'm really glad to be involved in the movements right now. Uh, one thing I dislike is, um, yeah, uh, I saw a lot of, you know, Polkadot projects, they are using the Polkadot's name to make hype. Oh, right? cool. Yeah, and the, I think a lot of projects launch, just launch token and make hype and sell the token to the people without functionalities. I don't like it. And the... The interesting things in the ecosystem is that the old project tend to not to, you know, tend not to issue token yet, right? But a very early stage project, very new project issue token very quickly <laughs> mm. and make hype. Uh, yeah. From our perspective, it's, it's too early to issue the token. It is their strategy, but our strategy is different. So we are focusing on technology and we are, we are focusing on the Web3 to, to, yeah, and the, we are focusing on the technical developments. I heard you are going to make a DAO to govern Shaden and Plasm. Who will join the DAO? Share the plans, please. So uh, this is the, I'm going to talk about ideal situation. So mm -hmm. the, we have a, a, a lot of members at Stake Technologies right now, and the, we are going to close the company and the, they're gonna be our open source contributor. And the, I am uh, one of the people who are leading the ecosystem right now, but I would like to be uh, one of the contributor in the, in the future. And the, yeah, uh, at the first time, I think the governance can be centralized, but we would like to make it more decentralized. And we would like to invite the, some of the open source core contributors to our council so that decision making should be much more decentralized and the, you know, but 
it, it became fair for the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. But uh, important thing is the, you know, decentralized way, decentralized process takes time. And the, at this moment, I think speed matters. So we are taking centralized way toward decentralization. Uh, but uh, we are we are we would like to make the decentralized autonomous organization. So we are going to make our ecosystem decentralized and decentralized step by step. What will be the most common business use case for your network? So Plasma Network and Shiden Network is a multi-chain budget multi-chain smart contract hub that support Ethereum and the uh, layer two solutions such as rollup in the currently uh, plasma network 1.0 is a uh, polkadot parachain but plasma network 2.0 is a multi-chain smart contract hub so we are making bridges to you know cosmos to ethereum and the binance smart chain and so on and the in this sense, we are going to become a multi-chain smart contract platform. In mm -hmm. addition to that, we support EVM, Ethereum virtual machine, as well as WebAssembly. So we are supporting multi virtual machine. So you can deploy Solidity contract, you can deploy WebAssembly contract, and so on. So yeah, uh, so we can support, you know, a lot of decentralized application mm -hmm. that uh, existing today, like, you know, DeFi, NFT, or DAO, you know, synthetic asset, which is also included in uh, DeFi. But uh, one of the most fascinating and the exciting area is NFT. Mm -hmm. You know, because the currently I'm working with a lot of the IP holder right now, and the, if we can invite these kind of people to Plasma Network and Polkadot, that's going to be a very huge use case in the ecosystem. NFT on Shiren, how it will work? What are the plans? So some of the project has been already making the NFT, pro NFT project, such as mm -hmm. Bondry, such as Moneswap, and the others. And the, yeah, um, this kind of guy are making a multi-chain NFT DEX, decentralized exchange. So Ethereum NFT can be swapped to Plasma Network NFT. And the Plasma Network NFT can be used for a uh, you know, gateway to Discord or gateway to something. So mm -hmm. NFT Wide Lab, they are making a NFT gateway to you know, communication channel. So if you have a Plasma Network NFT, you can join our very private Discord. So NFT can be a sort of like a ticket to join the, the private Discord or a private group, which is also a very interesting use case right now. The partnership with Microsoft is one of the latest news. What can you say about it? Today, I, we announced a new collaboration with Microsoft. By the way, this is not a partnership. Uh, we are selected as one well of the member of Microsoft for startups. So Microsoft is going to provide their services for free, like Azure, GitHub, Actually, we have been working with Microsoft for more than six months, and the more than 50 members are running a nodes, product nodes on Azure. And in the future, once we became a Xama parachain, we are going to start Shiden Azure program. So uh, validator on Shiden can run their nodes on Azure for free, and they can get technical services, technical supports from stake technologies and also Microsoft. So yeah, through this collaboration, we are going to, we, we are trying to make more robust network. And in conclusion, what are your personal goals for the nearest couple of years? Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm thinking that um, I'm really, you know, happy to be involved in uh, this Web3 movement. And the Web3 is going to be one of the most important invention in this decade and next decade. So yeah, um, I would like to focus 100% on Web3 in coming years. And one of the uh, interesting topic for me is the environment. 
and the renewable energy. And I have a passion on renewable energy right now. So uh, this is my weekend project, but uh, we are going to make Plasma Network 100% carbon neutral by 2025 or something like that. So yeah, my passion is blockchain for social good and blockchain for next generation invention. So yeah, uh, I would like to make Plasma Network 100% carbon neutral in the future. And the, I would like to make Plasma Network as uh, one of the most fundamental protocol to make Web 3.0. That was Sota Watanabe, everybody. Sota, thank you so much for your time. We wish you all the best. Thank you for having me. It was exciting, you know, talk.